this is what you missed on ReCheck. Speaking of treating all different kinds of animals, Dr. Nicole has been one of our vets most eager to treat all animals, great and small. Let's bring her on now. Dr. Nicole, thank you for joining us. Hi, thank you for having me. You've been at the clinic for just over two years. How many different species of animals have you treated? Oh my goodness, I have lost count. Um, it's been quite a few. I know that my list would definitely be way, way shorter if I did not work at Pole Vet. And definitely a lot shorter if I didn't get to work with Dr. Pole. He has been a great mentor throughout these past couple of years. And he has taught me how to handle different animals, how to treat them. And if I ever have questions, he's right there. But my list is growing and hopefully it'll continue to grow through the rough. Have you always wanted to work on a variety of animals, Dr. Nicole? I've always wanted to work on multiple species of animals. Growing up and even to vet school, I was told that you have to, you know, pick one type of species, maybe a group of animals like large animals, small animals, exotics, and I was told you can't do them all. Well, look at me now. I'm doing them all and I'm very excited and I can do it without Dr. Cole. How, how has working with Dr. Pohl helped you learn to take care of the different species that you see? Like, what, Dad, what is the uh, process um, of being able to work on something as different from one day to the next as a mouse to a, a Clydesdale? Because animals are in certain species, and many different animals belong to a species that is similar. So what you have to do is use common sense, right, Nicole? And that's yep. how you can treat all these animals. Yes, definitely. Including the rooster. <laughs> yes, that is my pet rooster, Chester. Um, apparently has a lot to say, but Dr. Cole has taught me how to even treat my own chickens. And you just have to use every, everything that you learned at school and everything you've learned around the way and apply it to what you're doing. Well, let's uh, transition now to a different area. People have gotten to see you work in veterinary medicine, but what is one thing that people haven't gotten to see that might surprise them the most, Dr. Nicole? Something to surprise you. Let's see. Well, growing up, I, I liked photography. Um, in high school, I was really interested in photography. I got a camera, um, learned how to use it, and tried to teach myself basically how to take good pictures. And I really, really enjoyed that. However, going through vet school, it got kind of put on the back burner because I didn't have much free time for really anything but studying at that point. So I have been able to go ahead and pick that back up now and I'm loving it and kind of just learning as I go and kind of learning from the TV show and the pictures that they take and it's a great combination. If you had one recommendation for pet owners watching, what would it be? Recommendation for pet owners. Um, the best advice would be to go ahead and ask us every question, no matter how silly or stupid you may think it sounds. Go ahead and ask us. We will not laugh at you. We will answer your questions and gladly do so. Um, we are really happy to answer those questions because we'd rather see it sooner rather than later and help you treat your pet before it gets serious. Dr. Paul, anything add, to add to that? Yeah, oh, she's fairly right. You know, it is never not ask a question that you want to ask because the more you know what is wrong with your animals, the better you can treat the animal at home and help us out, make your animal better. Last question, Dr. Nicole. We know that your favorite TV show is The Incredible Dr. Paul, but what is your second favorite TV show? Second favorite TV show, let's see. Um, okay, growing up, I always wanted to be a vet. My backup to that plan was going to be a doctor, and my backup to a doctor was gonna be a lawyer. So I guess I'd have to say Law & Order is my second favorite TV show. Well, I can tell that you might need to get back to your chickens, Dr. Nicole. So we're going to say thank you for joining us. And we're going to see you back at the clinic on Monday. 
subscribe here to Dr. Pole Presents to watch even more content coming your way soon.